Let us apply de Moivre's theorem to find all the cube root of unity. In other words, we want to solve the equation z cube equal to 1. Well, the equation looks pretty simple, but we want to apply de Moivre's theorem. So let's state de Moivre's theorem. De Moivre's theorem states if z equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta then z to the power n equal to r to the power n cos n theta plus i sin n theta. So j to the power n equal to cos n theta plus i sin n theta. So that's the de Moivre's theorem. Now that imply but in this question we have z cube. So we should take n equal to 3. So that implies z cube equal to r cube into cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta. Now we are given <coughs> z cube equal to 1. So, first of all, let's write z cube equal to 1 and let's take modulus both sides. If you take modulus of z cube equal to 1, then we have mod z equal to 1. Now, again, if you take modulus here, then since uh, modulus of cos 3 theta plus i sin theta equal to 1, so modulus of z cube equal to modulus of r cube. That's a real number, so modulus of z equal to r. So we observe from this to that modulus of z equal to r equal to 1. So, value of r equal to 1. So, we observe that r equal to 1. So, we can write z is cos theta plus i sin theta. Again, z cube equal to 1. z cube equal to 1. That imply by de Moivre's theorem cos theta, uh, you are doing cube, so cos 3 theta plus i sin 3 theta equal to 1. Now, 1 is a complex number and i is also a complex number. But 1 is not just a complex number, but it is also a real number. So, let's write 1 is 1 plus 0 i. 1 plus 0 i. Now, uh, let's compare this number with this and this one with this. How can we do so? The answer is yes, because 
if two complex numbers are equal, then their real part, real part is your cos 3 theta, and here your real part is 1. These two got to be equal, and their imaginary part are also uh, got to be equal. So imaginary, let's compare real part, cos 3 theta equal to 1. That is your real part. And sin 3 theta equal to 0. So cos 3 theta equal to 1. That is your real part. And sin 3 theta equal to 0. That is we obtain by comparing imaginary parts. So we have this too. Now, cos 3 theta equal to 1 means 3 theta equal to 0 degree or 360 degree of course other value are also possible but uh, uh, we'll take this too sine 3 theta equal to 0 imply theta equal to 0 degree or sorry 3 theta equal to 0 degree or 360 degree or 360 degree. So, theta equal to 0 degree or three, 360 by 3 gives you 120 degree. And if you have taken other values, you will have got 240 degree. So, uh, let's look at the work what we have done so far. We want to apply De Moivre's theorem to find cube root of unity. So, we want to solve Z equal to R cos theta plus I sin theta. We want to solve this. We have found that R equal to 1. And we have also found that theta equal to 0 degree, 120 degree to 40 degree. When we take theta equal to 0 degree, z equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta. When you take theta equal to 0 degree, then you will get it. This is equal to 1 for theta equal to 0 degree. And that is also equal again z equal to cos 120 degree plus i sine 120 degree. In this case, we get theta equal to 120 degree. That gives you uh, sine 120 degree is your root 3 by 2. And this is your minus 1 by 2. Lastly, when you take z equal, uh, theta equal to 240 degree, then your z equal to uh, cos 240 degree plus i sine 240 degree and that is equal to minus 1 by 2 and minus root 3 by 2 times i. So we have obtained three roots of unity. First, we obtained z equal to 1. Then we have obtained minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2. Then we have obtained minus 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2. Thank you.